All right, uh, welcome. I'm going to just practice a little bit with our red black trees in this video. I'm going to do that using, at least to start out here, using uh, the same set of random numbers we've been using for the other videos I've made. Um, so I'm just going to start with an empty red black tree. I'm just going to add elements to it sort of one at a time. Okay. I'm going to start maybe a little bit slow. Uh, the beginning is an empty tree, so it's actually not that hard, but let's just kind of remember the, uh, the different possible cases we might find ourselves in when adding to a red black tree. Uh, so the first thing we know is when we add to the empty tree or when we add at any time, we're going to be adding a red node. So the first node we're going to add here uh, is 11. Uh, and I'm going to draw it as a red node because we add it as a red node. Um, and when we add it in, we're going to create uh, two sort of null children that I'm just going to draw in this way to indicate them uh, for now. Uh, but the other thing we'll notice is that when we do this, uh, we actually uh, immediately uh, upset our invariant. Our invariant says that our root node is supposed to be black. So let's, uh, let's just redraw it. Luckily, there's nothing we have to do there in, in fancy other than redraw it as a black node. Okay, we're done with that. Now we can go on to the next node, which is 4, and we can add it. So 4 is going to be less, uh, and it's going to be added here. So let's add it as a uh, red node here, 4. And uh, it's also going to come with two, uh, two nodes, two null nodes uh, as its children. Okay, so up next then would be 21. Well, 21 is larger than 11, so it goes here again as a red node with two uh, null children as well. Now both of these ads, maybe I should have commented on the, on the four as well, but both of these ads we've added a red child to a black parent, and so no, uh, no invalidation of our invariant. Um, this uh, means we are done. We, we're done at this step. We don't have to recolor or rebalance. Okay, but maybe on our next one here, we did 21. Uh, so let's do 25 now. 25, again, is larger than 11, larger than 21. So we'll add it here. Um, and, of course, here we do have a violation of our invariant. Uh, a red child cannot have a red parent. Uh, so we have a, we have a violation. Um, and remember, when we have red child, red parent, we then look to the uncle. And in this case, we have a red uncle. Uh, so this is actually uh, one of our, I, I call this the easier case, the more favorable case, because it doesn't involve a rotation, it involves a recoloring. So in the recoloring case, we actually, we're going to leave our 25 alone, but we're going to recolor our parent and our grandparent to be black. So we'll do that step first. And then we're going to recolor the, uh, the root node, 11. Uh, let's color it red. So after recoloring the uh, parents black, we color the grandparent red, and now we find again recursively we're in we're in a bad case. Uh, our root node is not supposed to be red, so we actually immediately recolor it back to black. So we sort of visualize that change, even though we just changed it from black to red and red back to black. So there we go. But when we're done here, uh, after the recoloring, we're done, and we can verify. Uh, for our, our paths here, that looks like our black depth here is 3, and we can see that that black depth just increased on that step because we recolored our, our root node. Okay, and we've now recolored our root node twice. We did it uh, first uh, when we inserted our, our 11 originally, and then we recolored it again now. Okay, so that was with our 25. Recolor no rebalance yet. Uh, keeping in mind an AVL tree wouldn't rebalance this either. This is a balanced shape, as balanced as you can get for a uh, tree with four nodes in it, binary tree with four nodes in it. Okay, let's try and add our, our 15 now. So our 15 is greater than our 11, and it's less than our 21. So we add that 15 as a red node, and it's a child of a black parent, so we're good. No, no invariant upset, we can continue. Let's continue uh, adding another node then. Another node 14, greater than 11, less than 21, less than 15. Uh, after adding the red 14, 
uh, we see that indeed we have red uh, child of a red parent. So again, we have an invariant violation and we now need to double check what's our, our uncle. Our uncle in this case is also red. So that's a recoloring phase. So again, that means we're going to recolor the parent and the uncle black and the, uh, and the grandparent will be red. Now, after coloring the grandparent red, we've introduced a new red node. So we want to be careful recursively to check that we haven't upset the invariant at a higher level. In this case, we have a red child of a black parent. So again, no problem. We're good. Uh, now we've actually entered into a tree. Um, so here we see that the red-black response to adding the 14 down here was just to color the nodes a little bit different on the way up. The AVL response to this actually would be a double rotation. Okay, uh, And we can see that because our, our 11 node, our root node now, is going to be right heavy and our 21 is left heavy. So uh, we would rotate uh, twice here. We probably did that in the, in the earlier video. Uh, so let's continue here. Uh, moving on with R1 now. Looks like R1 actually is going to belong here. And, um, well, let's see if that invalidates our invariant. Uh, with a red child of a black parent, no invariant viol um, violated. Okay, so uh, let's add a 9 then. 9 is less than 11. Uh, 11 is, uh, or 9 is greater than 4, so that goes here. Uh, again, adding a red child to a black parent, no problem. We're good. Interesting now, we've made it through 8 of our nodes, and no rebalancing has been necessary yet, no re rotation. We've done a few recolors, but that's about it. We might get lucky here. Remember, this set of numbers was actually pretty lucky for us with the other binary search tree, so it's kind of a balanced set of numbers anyways. Um, but let's see, we've got the next one 11, we got, or sorry, 20 is greater than 11, less than uh, 21. Now uh, greater than 15, looks like it fits right here. And again, a red child of a black parent. So most of these odds have worked out pretty good for us. Let's do the two, 11 uh, to the left, uh, uh, smaller than four, greater than one. And here we have red child of a red parent, okay. Let's check again. Red child, a red parent, and a red uncle then. Well, again, we're back at the recoloring case. Actually, this is lucky for us. Uh, let's do one step of the recoloring where we recolor our uh, parent and our uncle to be black. And then we recolor the grandparent to be red. And we double check recursively to make sure that we haven't upset our invariant. And in this case, we haven't. We have red uh, child of a black parent again. Still no rotations. Let's see if, if we continue in that way. 26, looks like 26 belongs all the way over here. And again, red child of a black parent, so no, no problems there. 17, um, we're getting messy here, but it looks like we keep finding spots. So greater than, less than, uh, greater than, less than. All right, let's look at this one. This one could be uh, interesting. So. We have a 17 arriving down here, and that 17 is a red child of a red parent. So we'll check our uncle. Our uncle is also a red uncle. And then uh, that means we're once again in repainting, right? Recoloring. So let's go ahead. We'll recolor the grandparent, or sorry, the parent and the uncle. They become black. And then we'll repaint the grandparent red. All right, now we need to recursively check again. So we have a red child of a red parent. And again, we have a red child of a red parent with a red uncle. It looks like we keep getting these recoloring cases. We haven't got a single rotation case yet. So we're going to take the 4 and the 21, and they're going to become black. And then we're going to recolor the 11 red, but I'm just going to leave it because we're going to recolor it back to black again right away. Okay. And again, now our, our black depth should be 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Still no rotations. This is a good set of numbers, I guess. We might do another example if we don't even get a single rotation in here. 
Um, but let's continue. So looks like greater than 11, less than, less than, and less than. So we've got a 13 showing up down here at the bottom. But that's a red child of a black parent, so no invariant violated. Uh, a 7, okay, where is that one going to fit? So let's go in left, uh, right, left. Um, I'm going to just squeeze it in there because I've run out of a little bit of room, but we get a red 7 in there. And because we're adding it to a black 9, we get, again, no invariant violation. So, pretty good. 24. Greater, greater, less than, oh, it just fits right on there. And it looks like finally we're going to get a 36. Sorry, a 30. 30. Uh, and our 30 is going to add to our uh, 26 here. And again, we got red and red, so let's just double check. So double check it here. Red and red with a red uncle means once again recoloring. All right. Um, and then our grandparents going to become red. And uh, again, after that recolor, we have a red child to a black parent. So we're actually fine. So we went through all 16 of our ads here and we never got a single rotation and that's actually interesting and I don't you know I don't really like that because I wanted to practice some rotation so let's let's move forward with that in a second uh, but I do want to comment on that um, when we dealt with this this the same set of numbers um, with our ABL tree we did have a few rotations a couple at least so and, and I remember when we did the example there wasn't quite as many uh, rotations as you would get from just you know a standard set of, uh, of numbers in order for instance um, but we did get a few rotations well here we got none and the reason I want to comment again is because that the red black trees typically do fewer rotations than um, than your AVL tree so uh, and we've seen that here now in practice and maybe I'll comment on one last thing that's actually also uh, important here is that um, uh, some sequences of numbers when you add them to a binary search tree can be very problematic and we've seen that if you add numbers in the order that they come in in, in ascending order say uh, that can be very problematic without rebalancing um, but if you pay, take a random set of numbers like these ones um, you often get a pretty good set you'll get a binary search tree that most of the time is pretty balanced and that's what we're sort of seeing here is that the red black tree taking in these numbers in this order is not actually finding any good reason uh, to uh, to do any rotations okay now let's let's see what we can do with this um, I want to do some rotations so if I want to do some rotations what do I have to do well, I'm probably going to have to add more nodes. So where do I want to add them? Well, I'm going to now I'm going to be analytical because if I keep adding random numbers, I might get them adding in nice good spots and where I'm not going to do any rotation. So I'm going to say, look, I'm already my 11 node here looks like it's a little right heavy. OK, um, so why don't I put something down on the right there? So I'm going to pick something else. How about 32? OK, we'll see. See how this works. Okay, so we've added a 32, and now let's see, I've got a 32, which is a red child of a red parent. Remember, I was supposed to check my uncle. Well, my uncle is this node here, this black node. So I was finally, you know, it didn't take long when I'm designing it to get a rotation in here. So what kind of rotation are we in? Well, again, to check what rotation we're in, we need to know what kind of, first of all, what shape we are. If we see this shape, we can see it's right, right, and maybe our intuition kicks in already. Um, but the way to check that is what child are we? We're a right child. What child is our parent? Our parent is a right child. So that's the right, right shape. And that means we need to do a rotation left on the 26 here. So I've just performed the rotation here. Uh, I've allowed the 26 to move down. And we swapped over that uh, null child there from the 30 to the 26. Um, and 32 just brought its two null children with it. And I haven't done any recoloring when I did this, okay? But we know that after this, this swap, the old parent that's become the child becomes red, and the old child that becomes the parent becomes black. So after recoloring, uh, we're back in this state. Now notice, uh, this state is perfectly fine because the, the grandparent or the, the new parent that we recolored black is a black child, so it can't upset any invariant. 
Um, I want to keep going with this and, and actually a good practice if you like to practice some rotations is just take your numbers and put them in order and just keep adding until well you get really bored. Um, but um, I'm going to keep adding to the right here. I, I want to see how I can get some rotations going here. So I'm going to see if I can do another add to the right here. I'm going to add, let's just pick the next one, 33. A red child of a red parent with a red uncle means recolor. Okay, we did lots of these already. Okay, so a red child of now a red parent. We're recursively checking. We see that again, recoloring is in order. All right, with that recoloring done, our 21 is a red child of a black parent, so we're good. I thought we might get another rotation on the way up there, but we, we didn't, we're okay. Um, so let's maybe try it one more time. Let's keep going. Let's put a, a 34 on here. The tree's getting too big, but let's keep going. So let's do 34, looks like a 20, let's do 34. We can see that, uh, again, we've got a red child of a red parent with a black uh, uncle, which means we need to do a rotation here. So after the rotation here, we have the, uh, the 33 as the new root. I've recolored it uh, black and I've moved the 32 down, uh, which has become red. Uh, but remember, after that rotation, we have a black child of a red parent. So again, no problem. Let's try one more. Let's try 35. Again, it uh, looks like red, red, uh, a red parent, red uncle, so recoloring. And after the recoloring here, we get a red child of a red parent again. And, and actually, this is sort of one of the interesting tricky cases we can get into is that recursively as we go up, so far we've seen repainting all the way up until it settles down. But here we recursively go up and we get ourselves a red parent, black uncle situation again. And let's just be very careful here. We've got a, uh, a right, right situation again. So we need to do a rotate left on the 25 here. Okay, so if we're gonna do a rotate left on the 25, maybe I'll start here by saying, well then these two nodes here, the 25 and the 24, are actually gonna move down. Okay, they're gonna move down and the 25 is going to change color in so doing. In addition, the 30 is going to move up and it's also going to change color. Okay. And the 26 is going to be passed from the 30 to the 25. We can see it actually belongs right there, so let's update that. And this whole subtree uh, comes up on the right-hand side as the 30 moves up. Um, and we can see here after, after the rotate then, that again, the whole tree becomes more balanced. Our deepest, now this is sort of a really indicative of a good red black tree uh, or, uh, or an imbalanced red black tree is sort of what I'm gonna say here. Um, we've got here uh, on this left hand branch, all black nodes, but on the right hand branch, we have one black node or one red node rather for every black node. So we've got about double of the branches on the way down here. Um, so this one is twice as long as this one. That's the worst we could get. We predicted that in the in the previous video. Uh, and I think we've done a pretty good do job of practicing or adding into a red black tree here. So I'm going to leave it at that. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.